welcome back to another pick a card reading this pick a card reading is entitled what will married life be like or what will my marriage be like so there are three piles to choose from pile one has the rose quartz pile two has these cute little butterflies and pile three has a number of items here, including two constellations that uh, symbolize zodiac signs and a gear. So what I want you to do now is choose a pile that stirs your passion and excites you the most. Pause the video and choose. So if you chose pile one with this rose quartz, this is your reading. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. I don't know if you can see that there. Sometimes this camera has a hard time focusing on what it's supposed to. And the Two of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands is the next card. So let's see what marriage li married life will be like for you, or what your marriage will be like. So with the Seven of Pentacles there, I get the feeling of a lot of planning, you know, to perfect things in your marriage, a lot of laboring um, with regards to the marriage. I get the idea of the feeling of before you even got married that um, you were the type of person that felt like maybe you know, marriage was going to elude you. You were not going to be able to get married. Um, and maybe you would spend a lot of time by yourself. You'd be alone or you spent a lot of time alone, you know, just contemplating. But um, in your marriage, I also see the same kind of energy there, but it looks to be more positive where you and your spouse are planning more. You're building a future. You know, you, you try to save a lot. Um, in terms of finances and you work hard I'm hearing like frugal also where you don't spend more than you have because you have in mind the goal of saving and um, managing your money wisely with the two of coins there I do see trying to manage money wisely or for some of you maybe juggling you know to make sure that you have your money in balance um, for some of you, as I said, there could be money just coming in, money going out, money coming in, more money going out. And you're trying to balance and um, be careful about how you spend and um, save more money. I do see that because it, there's a little bit of struggle going on for some of you financially in the marriage. Um, I do see. And this is, you know, when you what your married life will be like when you do get married. If you are married now, um, there's a sense of trying to save, trying to balance, trying to make sure that your hard work, you know, isn't squandered and um, it pays off for you. Let's see here. I also felt like before you got married, um, you know, there was a lot of questioning and pondering about whether or not you wanted to get married or maybe your spouse had to think long and hard about getting married because I, I get the feeling that your spouse is somebody that likes to plan. You know, I'm hearing like planning. It had to be right before getting into it. Like one of you, or it could be both of you, just likes to make sure that things are lined up, organized. You know, you're doing, you're not doing things that you can't afford to do. You're not doing things that are premature. You plan everything. You like for everything to align properly. I do see that. Um, and Hmm. Um, there's a lot of seven energy there. Well, there's at least two cards. There are, you know, sevens. 
And um, with the seven energy there, you know, seven is about spirituality, okay? Um, but it's also about learning, taking the time to learn, you know, to figure out how to do things properly. Um, and I feel that there's a lot of introspection in this marriage. Like I said before, you guys don't just jump and jump into things unwittingly. You like to know what to do and how to do it. I feel like you, you're within your marriage. You know, you guys are going to take, a, um, take the time to plan and look for advantages. You know, you want to be ready when opportunity strikes. That's how I feel. Like you don't just want to let fly by the seat of your pants. Okay. You want to be ready for the gains when the opportunity comes and you want to know that you're in the right place to take advantage of these opportunities is what I'm kind of seeing. So yeah, before you got married also, that's, you know, like, as I said, you know, because marriage is such a serious commitment, I feel, I feel like, um, you guys wanted to be ready for it. You just didn't want to jump into it. Or at least one of you felt this way. You just didn't want to jump into the marriage. You wanted to make sure things were structured and that you knew exactly what you were getting into and exactly what you were going to do. And that's what I'm seeing for that. Um, see if there's anything else there. Yeah, just I get the feeling of making sure things were right. Is it the right thing to do? Let's see what else I have. I've got inner conflict. Take back your power. Five of spring. Life partners. college campus and lifetime marriage partners okay yeah so with this rose quartz here and then those lifetime partners lifetime marriage partner cards i really feel that you two are in this for the long haul no matter what happens it took you a while to decide to get married you had to plan it. You had to figure out if it was right for you. And when you got married, there was a decision made that, hey, we're in this forever, for life. No matter what happens, we are not going to leave this. We're going to fight for this marriage. We're going to fight for this relationship. So you two have decided that you're going to be lifetime marriage partners. And if it's not the both of you, one of you feels this way, you know, that you're in this for life. You're not leaving it. I also get the feeling that you two might have met on a college campus because I see the college campus card there. Yeah, that you two may have met on a college campus. Um, yeah, so that's where you, you met or you knew each other in college or in school or something, some kind of educational placement or placing or place that you met. Uh, may have been involved with each other at one time or another, you know, before you got married. And then maybe you, you met again somehow and, you know, just decided to give it another try. Or maybe you're meeting again after this meeting for a first time somewhere and, you know, you got together. That's kind of the feeling that I am getting. It was like a reunion is actually what I'm feeling. So life partners there, as I said, I, I just feel the energy of we're in this for life. We're going to do this no matter what. Yeah, um, we're going to stick around. We're going to hang in there. We're going to make it work no matter what. And as I said, if it's not both of you, it's one of you that feels this way. Um, and it very well could be one of you because of the fact that I'm getting cards like, or I'm seeing take back your power, um, five of spring, and the seven of wands, the two of coins and the inner conflict card. It could very well just be one of you that feels that you're going to fight for this relationship. Um, because there might be inner conflict going on with one of you, you know, um, where you're sometimes you're not sure if you should stay in the relationship. Is it worth the fight? Seven of wands is fighting off opposing forces, fighting, um, you know, battling battling each other, 
you could be battling outside forces. But whatever it is, whatever the case is, I just feel like you two are for life. You're, you're partners for life. You know, I feel like it's like this ride or die energy, no matter what comes at us. And the seven of wands tell me more about, tells me more about what's coming at you. No matter what comes at us, no matter what's thrown at us, we're going to try to stay together. But I feel also at times that there is inner conflict and you wonder if the relationship is worth staying in, or you're going to be wondering if the relationship is worth staying in. Take your power back. Um, I feel like that's about power struggles. Honestly, there might be power struggles in the relationship because of the take your power back card and uh, uh, the five of spring, you know, opposing goals arising from different opinions, feeling at odds. So this is, um, this is normal in a relationship. You're going to have a difference of opinion, but I feel sometimes for some of you, there might be some power struggles in this relationship, but I feel that the relationship will be transformative for a, a many of you. I think this, you'll find your way in this relationship. You'll transform. You'll move from one stage of the relationship to the next, to the next. I feel there's a lot of growth in this relationship. And because I think you guys are willing to work at your problems, I do see that your love will allow you to be life partners, to be what you, you want, lifetime partners, right? To be together for the long haul for the rest of your life. I do see that. There's anything else I'm missing. Yeah, you are going to fight. You are going to have fights. That's bickering. I do see that clearly in your relationship. But I do see that the two of you are very ambitious people. And um, you're going to do what it takes to thrive emotionally, you know, financially, every, in every way possible. That is probably the gist of it for you. Um, but I just feel like there's a lot of love and your love's going to overcome a lot of obstacles. And you are going to build a... A good future together a good life together um, because you're willing to work at it no matter what and that is what I'm seeing okay um, and I think that's all I have for you um, if you enjoyed this reading please be sure to hit the like um, hit the notification bell so you can know when I post another video and I will see you again next time If you chose pile number two with these butterflies here, this is your reading. So of course, you know, butterflies are an indicator of transformation and because there's a smaller butterfly and a larger butterfly, I feel like you know, in this relationship, this marriage, you're going to go through transformations. That is for sure. Okay. You're going to go through small transformations, larger transformations. Let's see what we have. We've got the five of pentacles. The hierophant. the sun overcoming difficulties the queen of winter Flame of Inspiration, Recovery, and the East Coast. Okay. So already I'm feeling like you, in your marriage, there's going to be some trials, 
some tribulations to overcome. I feel as if you're going to be walking through the fire, you know, tried, tested by fire in this relationship for whatever reason. That's just what I'm seeing. I just feel like there's a lot of, um, there's something that happened in the past that caused, um, I'm feeling an illness for some reason. I just feel like with the five of pentacles and recovery, there could have been some kind of illness or some kind of addiction or something that happened in the marriage that, you know, you two had to work through is what I'm seeing. The high priestess, I feel I'm hearing by the grace of God. So faith was used to overcome whatever these obstacles were in this relationship, whether it was an illness or an addiction. I feel like it's more of an illness is, is kind of what I'm feeling. I just feel like somebody was really hurt. That's what I'm feeling like there was surgery required in this. Um, yeah, like there was some kind of surgery required. Um, somebody went through an illness that they had to overcome. Or somebody's going to go through an illness. So um, in this particular marriage, I just feel that kind of energy where, you know, you have to be by your partner's side or your partner has to be by your side because there's some difficulties that you two have to kind of overcome um, is what I'm feeling. Um, maybe I'm getting like inflammation. I don't, it's just, it's reading like there's a health problem, you know, um, and there's recovery. So it's not something that's life threatening or anything like that. But I do see recovery with that card there, you know, and with the overcoming difficulties card, you know, you definitely, the worst is behind you, you know, you're surmounting previous challenges. You are getting out of this. I do see that clearly. So whatever the issue is, it's, it's behind you. And I just feel like this marriage is going to help um, to transform you, whether it's a physical transformation or just an emotional transformation. She so can rise, you know, from the ashes and become a better person, a more whole person, become more sufficient, self-sufficient. I'm feeling there's just something here where there are obstacles to overcome in this particular relationship um, that I'm seeing. With the sun card, I also get the feeling of nutrition. So, you know, you have to be careful about what you're eating. Um, you're going to have to take, a, a, you know, good care of yourself. And um, I think your spouse or your partner will be there or you'll be there to help your spouse or partner recover from this. Um, you know, I feel physical appearance, um, just being tired, exhausted, I'm, I'm feeling those kinds of things, needing a respite or needing to feel cool or having to ice something. I just, if it, it, it's reading, I'm not, I don't do medical readings, but it's just kind of reading more to me. Like in this, I'm sorry about that. In this relationship, there's going to be some kind of issue. Okay. If it's not a medical issue, I just feel that your marriage is going to go through a significant challenge and there's going to be, be some transformation where you and your your spouse are going to have to ride out these tough times. Um, you're going to have to let go of these situations that aren't good for you. Um, you are going to have to sever something. You may have to, as I said, if it's an illness, go through surgery to overcome something. And I literally feel like it's surgery for the skin. That's the feeling I'm getting because of this flame of inspiration is if something is damaging the outer dermis of the skin and you have to go through something, there's some kind of inflammation going on in the body, I feel, but it will be healed this with this recovery card there. And that's basically what I'm seeing. You're going to come out smelling like a rose on the other side because of the overcoming difficulties card, right? Which pairs very well with this, these butterflies, this transformation you know, the worst is going to be over. So in this marriage, you're going to find healing, definitely find healing in this marriage. Your spouse or you are going to provide that healing. You're going to be transformed. It's going to be a recovery for you. As I said, a better type of relationship. You're going to find that support that you need in this, um, relationship. And, um, something about the United States East coast is very important in this relationship. 
Let's see. I feel like you're going to go there for something or, it, you know, you live there, but you have to travel there in order to do something. It could be because it's some kind of a medical issue or you have to go there because something happened in the marriage where, you know, you have to, to push on for a little while before returning or, you know, but the, the East Coast is telling me it's very important for something. Yeah, it's like, or you're moving there, right? You're going to move there or you have to go there, but it's, it's really important for as, as a part of your relationship. Maybe you're in your, your spouse, you move to the East coast or you go have some kind of procedure in the East coast, or you just decide, you know, something important about it. It's what it's telling me. Yeah. So the big theme for you guys here, as I said, yeah, just transformation. So your marriage will be a healthy one. It'll be a loving one. It'll be a supportive one. You know, you two will have each other's backs and you'll, you'll go through that and help each other recover from things. Um, and just, it'll, you'll be transformed through this relationship. That's, that's what I'm seeing. Okay. So whatever it is, your spouse has got your back or you've got your spouse's back. And I see this relationship will be a very loving one and, um, a very supportive one. And that's really all I'm seeing for now. So if you enjoyed the reading, please be sure to leave a comment below, like, subscribe if um, you feel, hit the notification bell so you can know when I post another video and I will see you again next time. So if you pick Pal 3 with these items here, constellations, zodiac constellations and this gear, this is your reading. Okay, let's see what we have. We've got temperance. So right away, I feel that your relationship is one that is very balanced. I feel that you talk things over in your marriage, you know, you ask for advice from each other. You don't step on your partner's toes. You make sure you get their opinion about things before you do it. We have the Queen of Cups. I feel as if, if you're a female, because I'm getting a feminine energy. If you're a female, I feel as if your partner adores you. In this marriage, I feel your partner will take very good care of you. I feel you'll be pampered. I feel your partner is going to offer you um, a lot of relaxation, a lot of support, you know, and um, I feel that your partner will know right away that you are the person that they want. I think um, that you're your wifey you're, or you're the spouse. I feel that that energy right away. The Ace of Wands. There are a lot of butterflies in these readings. Uh, I think all three of them had butterflies. So I just feel that there's a lot of transformation that will come through your marriage. You know, you're going to grow a lot in this relationship. You're going to change a lot or the relationship's going to change you a lot. You're going to be able to do more, to go further. You're going to have support. That's what I'm feeling like this, this relationship is really going to open you up to, to bigger and better things. Um, I think there was a rainbow in the other reading too, right? Just so I feel like it's just a variety, a variety of things that are going to come into your life, a new experiences, you know, new places to see. There's going to be a lot for you to take in. Just a lot for you to take in. Um, I feel like your eyes are going to be more open. There's going to be less restriction for you. You're going to be freer in this relationship than you've ever been at any other point in your life. And that's weird because in marriage, as you think restriction, but I just feel like for all three groups, there's just a lot of freedom. 
you know, you experience a lot of freedom from being married. It's transformative. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah. Um, and so I also get the feeling that, you know, you may be the one to make the, pr the proposal or, you know, when you meet this person, you may be the one to say, hey, you know, let's get married. You may be the one that knows right away that this is the one for you. You know, so you will initiate that action towards it. One of you is going to do it. One of you is going to know right away that, you know, this, this is the one for me. This is the person for me. I definitely feel that. Um, yeah, the temperance card just says it's harmonious. It just feels right. Definitely. Um, there's a lot of promise, a lot of commitment that's going to be in this relationship i also feel like this could be a person from your past that you marry you know and if it's not a person from your past then it's it's uh it's giving me a lot of uh like it feels like a past life energy like you you know this person from a past life but i, I more feel that this could be mundane in terms of this is somebody you already know with your from your past this could be somebody you're giving another try to this is the last try um Someone that definitely has, a, I'm getting the feeling of, I know this is the person for me. I feel it's so right. You know, I already know. So I'm going to offer, offer my cup to this person. I'm going to offer my heart, my soul, because this is the one I want to spend my life with. It's kind of what I'm feeling. And in this marriage, I just feel a sense of, it just feels harmonious. It feels peaceful. It feels loving. It feels like you, you do everything together. You travel, you know, there's a lot of freedom. You, you just relax. You have fun. Um, you go places. You just see a lot. This is a variety with the rainbow there. It's like you're going everywhere and you're experiencing a lot of things. That's kind of what I'm feeling with that rainbow there. Okay. There's a, uh, no restrictions on what you can do. It could be because, you know, you guys are financially stable. It just could be because you want to experience these things together. I just feel like it's an, it's regenerative, this opportunity for you. Okay. You may have been married, um, before, or you may have been with a, a I feel like another partner before this one, but whatever this, this marriage, if this is a second marriage for some of you, this is going to be an awesome relationship is what I'm feeling. This is going to be better than the first. Okay. Positive change of mind, positive status. You won't feel if you've been feeling, if you felt restricted, bound or imprisoned in your last relationship, this one, this new marriage is going to make you feel so free. You're just going to be so happy in it. That's what I'm feeling here. You know, just free freedom. Let's see what else. Okay, you know what to do. Listen to your heart. Five of summer. If you believe, have faith, and then I'm seeing social media. Okay. So let's see what's going on here. Okay, so there's a real need to listen to your inner voice in this. Okay, trust that everything is happening for a reason. Have faith. It's just giving me a lot of those. And I'm wondering what the need for you, why is there a need for you to have faith? So give me a minute and just let me, let me just think and feel for a second. Trust, believe, and have faith. I really kind of feel that this is about your past. I feel that um, you've experienced something very, very horrible in terms of relationship in your past, right? Um, and there's a need to believe again that things can be better, that things can be good, right? Um, I just really feel that the believe and have faith, it's uh, maybe you not feeling as if you were going to find that partner again um or that you wouldn't marry you won't marry someone or wouldn't marry someone that would treat you the way you wanted to be treated 
um, that would be affectionate to you, you know, everything you've wanted. That's kind of what I'm feeling. Um, maybe you felt like you would never get married, never get proposed to, you know. Um, but this is just a matter of having faith that the universe would bring someone to you that was right for you. Yeah, there's just there was just some activities in the past that that made you feel as if you know you you were unlucky in love is what I'm kind of feeling there. I get the energy of the emperor with the you know what to do card. Okay, um, I think this is about you and your spouse planning, making plans for the future. So this is not. This the person that made you feel as if love was just out of reach for you. This is the man uh, or the woman that you're going to find in the future or that will bring you this joy, this happiness, this peace. You just knew it. I felt like when you saw them, as I said before, you just knew. So you know what to do. It's like you knew. You trusted your instincts. You were feeling it. You just knew, okay? Um, also for some of you, you listened to your heart. You knew that this was the right relationship for you. Okay. You trusted, you let the fear go from the past and you just trusted that this was the right person for you. And you knew that this relationship was going to work out. So that's kind of what I'm seeing. And, um, in this relationship, as I said, it's just going to be a wonderful kind of relationship where everything is harmonious. You, you bounce ideas off each other. You talk to each other, you know, um, a lot of good things happen in this relationship. You transform in this relationship. You travel. You do everything. You just grow. You know, it's it's a positive relationship. Not to say that you won't have, you know, times where you are bickering, but it's a great relationship overall. Okay. Um, and I feel as if with social media, this is a person that you might meet through social media. Okay. Um, yeah, here. Like you might meet them through social media, this new person that's going to bring you all this joy and make you feel again and listen to your heart again. I feel, you know, this is where you'll meet them. I do feel though, when you do meet them, you're still going to have a little bit of skepticism about, um, you know, things you're going to worry a little bit, but you're going to eventually jump into it because you're going to see that there's nothing to fear. That's what I'm feeling. You're going to feel that there's nothing to fear. So you are going to definitely um, get into this relationship and live your best life. This is what the, you know, this relationship is about living your best life, transforming with the gear here. I just get the feeling of teamwork. Like you two work as a team all the time. And I think I got that before. And I, you know, I said that before you, you two definitely bounce ideas off of each other. Before you do something, it, you know, it's all about what does my partner think? You know, do you think this is a good idea? So you work in harmony. You work in tandem is kind of what I'm feeling. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. I feel like um, some of you are going to be frightened about this relationship, though. I, I really do feel that. It's like I get the feeling of terror. Like, is this really going to work out? Is this going to happen for me? Is it? And I feel like this is... Too good to be true is what I'm feeling. Like you, even when you're in the relationship, you're feeling this is too good to be true. And it's like you want to take off. You want to leave because you think it's going to go bad and it's going to go poorly and you don't want it to get messed up. And, you know, um, that's what I'm kind of feeling there with that. And let's see what else. We've got Cancer. And a Gemini pendant here. Cancer pendants tell me about uh, home, home, sta stable home, stable life. So your marriage is going to be very stable. You're going to have the things that you want. Let's see what else. Yeah, it's going to be a completion. It's like this is, this is it. This is the final marriage this is the final relationship that's the feeling that you're going to have right i also feel like if you haven't been pregnant before um you know you're female you're going to start uh you're going to have a baby with this husband you're going to have or this wife you're going to have a baby in this relationship okay so 
see and with the gemini i almost feel like you're gonna have twins right like this is you're gonna have babies that are twins right um yeah more than one that's what i'm feeling yep but it could also be that you know the viewers are cancer gemini that are watching we've got a lot of cancer gemini's watching um the Gemini pendant also tells me there's, a, there's just multiple things that are going to be happening in this relationship. You're going to be doing a lot, right? Multiple births, multiple just activities, just things happening with the relationship or in the relationship. Okay. Um, I feel like maybe one of you is going to be older than the other. The relationship is going to be, um, it's going to have longevity. I do feel that. And as time moves on, you know, I get the feeling of, um, you might start to feel like you are stuck as time moves on in this relationship. You're feeling not stuck. I should say just, you might slow down, you know, things are going to slow down. Um, cause you're going to get older, right? Um, and you're going to start to feel like you're not moving as quickly anymore. You're just staying in one place. Or this could just be that maybe in the early time, you know, the early stages of the relationship, you move around a lot. You do a lot of things. You're not really settled. You're like a new young couple and you just do whatever. And then, you know, um, you finally settle into your life, you know, because I see longevity for this relationship. I do of you. There might be some struggles, you know, along the way, but that's every marriage. I feel, um, I sort of feel like somebody travels for work. You're going to know your partner's going to travel for work, one of you, and you're going to be missing them a lot when they're gone. Um, I just feel like, yeah, this partner's wrapped up in work and they travel a lot and eventually they might be gone a lot and leave you um, home alone. and Or one of you, um, you know, is going to travel. And that's going to cause some anxiety. You know, and you're going to be thinking all kinds of thoughts um what's going on what this person's doing but you know the, the half faith card here really just tells me nothing's happening just have faith you know your partner's faithful to you and everything's is good so no worries there okay yeah i think that's basically what i'm seeing uh i don't think there's anything else so if you enjoy this reading you know, um, if it resonates with you at all, which is, it's a future reading, so it may not right away. Um, but if you are married currently to, um, the person, a person that's like this or similar, please let me know if it resonates with you. Um, what your marriage is like, leave me a comment below, hit the, um, notification bell so you can know when I post another video, like, and, um, if you like the reading, feel free to subscribe. And I will see you again next time.